Hello fifth grade. Today we're going to do something with your candy bars. So you learned in first grade that some things float and some things don't float. You've done that lab where you can float and not float things. But today we're going to take that knowledge that you learned, we're going to add to it. All year so far you've been learning about density and what density means. You're learning the why of how some things float and don't float. And we're going to take that one step further and see if some of our candy bars will float or don't float with our knowledge of density. All right, so let's think first about weight. Do your candy bars all weigh the same? What do you think? Are some of them different? Are some of them the same? Are some of them going to then be denser than others? Does that matter if it should float or not? Well, let's find out. Uh, you're going to do math instead of just guessing and that way you'll know what the density of the candy bars are and if it should sink or if it should float based on your knowledge of how dense it is. So you've been learning that density is the mass of an object divided by its volume. Density equals mass divided by volume. Ta-da! Alright, and I love density. One of the ways you can remember this formula, should you ever want to remember it, is Mass over volume. It's a heart. We love it. We love a good pun. Okay, so first we need to figure out two things about our candy bars, the mass and the volume. So how do we figure out the mass? We use our scale. So let's do that. The mass of our items using a scale. I have first a Three Musketeers. Boom, Three Musketeers. I'm going to turn on my scale, let it zero out. Then write down how much it weighs. Remember the unit? Grams. So my Three Musketeers is 14.7 grams. And my Butterfinger is 21 grams, 21 grams, and my Baby Ruth is 25.1. Ta-da! All right, that's the mass. Now I need to figure out my volume. All right, now we found out there's two ways to do volume. For the lab we did last time, we use our graduated cylinder. And the other way you can do it is with a ruler. And you can measure the length times width times height. That's how you find out an area of something with the square cubic footages. All right, so I'm going to take my three musketeers and I'm going to measure it. First, I'm going to measure the length. The length is 4.5 centimeters by the width, which is 2.5, by the height, which is 1.5. 4.5 times 2.5 times 1.5 is 16.9 cubic centimeters, centimeters cubed, because centimeter times centimeter times centimeter, you get three of them cubic. All right, then my Butterfinger, is longer. My Butterfinger is five centimeters and the length, that's the length, and then the width is going to be 2.5 and the height is going to be 1.5 centimeters. So five times 2.5 times 1.5 uh, is 18.75 centimeters cubed. And for my Butterfinger, the heaviest, don't yet know if it's the densest, but it is the heaviest, is 4.5 uh, times 2.5 centimeters times my height, which is two. Two, these are tall. A lot of, lot of, lot of good nuts in there. All right, and that is 22.5 centimeters cubed. I have done the math beforehand, just so it wouldn't waste your time. Okay, now, 
Let's figure out the density. So 14.6 grams for my mass of this divided by 16.9, which is my volume, is 0.7 grams per centimeters cubed. It's my unit. And then for my butterfinger, my mass of my, my volume is going to be 1.1 grams per centimeters cubed. And then my baby Ruth is 25 divided by 22, and the density of that is also 1.1, because it rounds. This is slight, slightly denser. There's more bigger numbers after this one. That is a terrible three. Don't write, don't write threes like me. All right, it's beautiful. Okay, so now, what else do we need to know? I know now my densities. This is the number. This is how dense it is. The density of my Three Musketeers is 0 0.7 grams per centimeters cubed. The density of my Butterfinger is 1.1 grams per centimeters cubed. What do I do with that? What other information do I need to know? If I want, if I want to know if these are going to float in water, I want to know if they're going to be more or less dense than water. So what number do I need to know? What more information do I need? If you were thinking in your head, the density of water, you're correct. Is it more dense? Is it more dense or less dense than the density of water? The density of water, super easy. Water. Water is one gram per centimeters cubed. Boom, that's it. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Water is one gram per centimeters cubed. So, are any of our candy bars? less dense than water. How do I know? Are any of these numbers less than one? That's how I know. Because the units match up, so is it less than one? Our Three Musketeers is less than one. So, we should say that my Three Musketeers will float in water. I know how dense it is. It is less dense than water, so it should float more dense, they should sink. That's what you would expect to happen. So now's the time where you, yes you, can take your candy bars, open them up, look at them, and you can test this, this out. Did Mrs. Bookino do her math correctly? Uh, is this done correctly? Is it really going to float or not float? You get to test now the buoyancy of it, because that's the word we have been using quite so much. Is Are these candy bars buoyant? Buoyancy is just the tendency to float. So if I were to draw my candy bar in water, this might cut me off. All right, I don't know if you can see that. I don't think you can. So, all right, let's do the baby roof. And here's my water. Is that baby roof gonna sink or float? It's going to sink because it's more dense than water. So we would say that the gravity then is stronger than the buoyant force. It, it isn't very buoyant, it's going to sink. The Three Musketeers should be buoyant, it should float, it should have a greater buoyancy. Than the water. Doesn't make any sense. Greater it <laughs> it should have a greater greater buoyancy than the gravity pulling it down. Okay. So there, there you go. You may now go and open up your candy bars, put them in some water, and see if uh, they are buoyant or not buoyant. We have our guess right right here, based on math, and then you should not let those candy bars go to waste. You should eat those candy bars afterwards because who wants to waste candy bar? No one. All right, so happy science, and I will uh, see you next time. We're going to do, when we do our density worksheet.